my name is Dr. Mark Fry, and on behalf of the lead author, Dr. Malik Nassan, I wanted to bring to your attention an upcoming article in Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Pharmacokinetic, Pharmacogenetic Prescribing Guidelines for Antidepressants, a Template for Psychiatric Precision Medicine. Dr. Nassan, myself, and other clinicians in the Mayo Clinic Depression Center have had a long-standing interest in trying to provide greater precision or individualized treatment for depressed patients seeking care. It is very clear that antidepressants, specifically the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, are some of the most commonly prescribed medications in this country and they, without a doubt, have transformed the practice of major mood disorders, anxiety disorders, and some chronic pain syndromes. To know that these medicines are so highly prescribed, um, as evidenced by a recent study in the Rochester Epidemiology Project, we thought it would be important to look at tools as to how clinicians could provide greater precision when choosing to prescribe an antidepressant. Part of this, in collaboration with our Center for Individualized Medicine, has really recognized that there is genetic variation in how patients metabolize medicines, and in this case, antidepressants. Our work in this special article has really focused on cytochrome P450 genetic variation. We know this is very relevant in the context of how SSRIs are metabolized. For this review, we focused initially on fluoxetine and paroxetine for a couple of reasons. Number one, these are very commonly prescribed antidepressants, and the starting dose is often the therapeutic dose. But we know for difficult to treat cases of depression and for obsessive compulsive disorder that we will typically prescribe these medicines at much higher doses than the standard dose for treating depression. Higher doses in the context of genetic variation where there might be a poor metabolizer phenotype we think has potential clinical relevance. The paper reviews how we think about genetic variation and outcome measures that might be there that relate to blood levels theoretically a higher blood level with a poor metabolizer phenotype, a lower blood level with an ultra-rapid metabolizer phenotype. We can also judge genetic variation by adverse events, side effects, and to the current literature, while less well-studied, antidepressant outcome measures such as clinical response or achieving treatment remission. We review the existing literature as it relates to fluoxetine and peroxid, and to an extent, venlafaxine and citalopram. Citalopram in particular already is a great example of genetic variation or precision medicine coming into our practice. Citalopram has a, a warning label revision for the risk of prolonging the QT interval in particular with a poor metabolizer phenotype, in this case at cytochrome P450 2C19. There are other examples of genetic variation coming into the clinical practice to really give clinicians tools and greater precision in their antidepressant treatment selection. We took this early data and in collaboration with our pharmacogenetics task force at Mayo Clinic, looked at how we might develop an early interface or a decision support tool as part of the electronic health record to make clinicians aware of when patients have already had genotyping tests done and have been identified as a poor metabolizer phenotype. In the article, and you have uh, at your disposal Table 1, you can see the genetic variation of cytochrome P450, 2D6, and 2C19, and the configurations that we identify as a poor metabolizer phenotype. You can also see in Figure 2 um, our early work of developing a decision support tool 
to help clinicians or to make clinicians aware of when a poor metabolizer phenotype at 2D6 is already tested and in the electronic health record. So much of this is about getting the right information at the earliest time point possible to really enhance that episode of care seeking treatment for depression. And our hope is that further work with electronic health record interfacing and decision support tools for uh, antidepressant selection will only enhance our precision and our ability to provide greater individualized treatment for patients seeking treatment for depression or patients where SSRI antidepressants um, are an intervention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.